yesterday. Clearly, it was a gut-wrenching uh, event, uh, and uh, you know our hearts uh, our hearts go out to uh, to the victims and the families uh, on another horrific uh, horrific gun violence that we have seen we're seeing in our communities. You just heard from the White House press secretary who spoke today about the shooting in Midtown. The Biden administration echoing what many others are saying that more needs to be done to prevent mass shootings. By the way, we spoke with Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens today and he says that he hopes to have more conversations with Governor Brian Kemp to find solutions. Where we disagree right now is on uh, on guns, and so we'll have to have that conversation over and over again uh, throughout the summer and into next year, and maybe we might find ourselves where something can change during the next legislative session. And one of the people who sheltered in place during the manhunt was State Senator Josh McLaren of Atlanta. He's a Democrat who supports red flag legislation, which would restrict access to guns by people diagnosed with mental health issues. In this year's legislative session, Democrats introduced some 17 bills to restrict gun access in Georgia. Republicans, they run the Capitol, and none of those bills got a vote, even in committee. People would be outraged. I think people are outraged enough to see this type of violence on TV and feel like uh, their leaders are doing nothing about it. But that's exactly what's happening. And so, you know, if, if we get the right message to the public that there is sensible legislation out there, I think people would, uh, would realize that it's time for a change. Well, today, today, one gun rights supporter told 11 Alive the problem is not gun laws. Instead, it's insufficient penalties for crimes committed with guns. Well, this story is still developing minute by minute, and you can find our full coverage right now on our homepage online at 11alive.com. Our team coverage continues throughout the evening.